to look back and say, that's what it took for me to get here. Isn't this goal really worth it? What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, okay, is a get ready with me, girl talk, okay, Fenty skin, Fenty beauty edition. We're talking about, mainly the focus is really self love, but we're including body image. We're talking a little bit of skincare. We're talking, uh, you know, we're just talking about overall what it means to love yourself. And I think it's super important. And honestly, this is a conversation I feel like is a little long overdue because I have been processing and learning a lot of different things that I feel like is super important to share with you guys. So, if you want to see how I got this really just, let me tell you, the beat, the beat is crazy. The beat is natural. It's giving just like Maisha, but a little bit enhanced, a little bit better. Just a little tweak, you know what I mean? But still me, feeling like myself, feeling confident, not feeling catfishy at all, baby. I take this off, I still look the same, okay? I just, I love it. I, I love it using all my products. The process was beautiful. So if you want to see how I got this beautiful look that I feel so confident in, and you wanna have some serious girl talk, I don't talk a serious girl. We have some serious girl talk, and this is what you need to hear, okay? You need to stick around for this, because you need to hear it. Clearly, you, you came here for a reason. You need to hear what I'm about to talk about. Then keep on watching. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our get ready with me slash girl talk. I'm really excited about this video. As you guys know, I am a Fenty Skin ambassador. So, of course, we're gonna be using some Fenty Skin in this video. It's a little awkward for me because I usually don't wash my face in this area. But to show you guys, obviously, the full range and how great these products are, Let's show you see right here. So the first thing that we're gonna do, first and foremost, make sure you wash your hands. I made sure I did that, okay? Make sure you wash your hands. First thing we're gonna get into is my Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. So I'm really excited about this video. Um, not only because I'm a Fenty Skin ambassador and you know, we're gonna be sharing a little bit about that, but I'm really excited about having a real raw conversation and dialogue. And that's all about self-love, um, body confidence, self-esteem, and I think that's really important. And you know, when I was chosen to be, and I have a little bowl, so I'm getting my hands all sudsy. <laughs> but when I was chosen to be an ambassador for all things body with Fenty Skin, that was a little nerve wracking for me because I'm not someone who is 100% confident in my body and I struggle with my self esteem and, 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 and self love. And a lot of times I beat myself up about how I look because I'm comparing myself to standards that we live in today. And when I was chosen, I was a little nervous, but I saw this as an opportunity to step outside of myself and and to really just kind of blossom and, and just get out of my head about what it really means to love myself for who I am in the, in the stages that I'm in. Uh, you know, everybody is going through things in life and a lot of us women and men struggle with self-love and body image. All right, so I just kind of rinsed my face off. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fat water toner. Look at this. Girl, actually all of my Fenty skin right now, I'm scraping at. So it's gonna be a little ghetto, I'm not gonna lie. Girl, wait till, I, wait till we get to the hydrovisor, okay? Girl, you're gonna be like, wow, okay? She really need a whole deal stock up. But anyway, when it comes to self-love and body image, um, one thing that I've come to realize is you don't necessarily need to be content and, you know, uh, just if you're not genuinely happy about something, you don't necessarily need to accept that. But I think it's really important that you have self-love and you, and you show yourself love in each stage that you're in. For example, currently right now, I am not happy with the weight that I am at. That is my personal preference. But does that mean, do I beat myself up because I'm at this point and I'm not where I wanna be? Do I hate myself and I talk down to myself and I tear myself down to because I'm not there? Because that's not gonna get me there. That's definitely not gonna get me there and it's going to destroy my mental health. It's going to destroy the views of how I think I'm supposed to look. It's going to just it. It's going to destroy genuine, authentic love that I should have for myself. What I'm teaching myself to love myself in each stage 
that I am in, each phase that I'm going through, each each point of my life, I'm teaching myself to love myself no matter what. I don't necessarily have to be content with this. I can work hard, I can change things in my lifestyle so I can reach goals that I have, but I think what makes those goals healthy and makes those goals, you know, livable and understandable and, and, and not toxic is loving yourself and understanding what that does for yourself to get there. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, there's people who struggle with getting to a certain point. So they do things that they think may be healthy for them, but it's really unhealthy for them. You know, uh, so understanding self-love and loving yourself in each phase that you're in helps you get to your goals, but in a healthy way, in my opinion, you know what I mean? This is going to be a, <laughs> this video is about to be a struggle because you guys know how I am trying to talk and do things at the same time. Girl, I use my hands a lot. I'm very expressive. Okay, so this is my hydrovisor. I just took it out the um, component here. Baby, watch the ghetto. Wait a minute. Ooh, uh-uh. It's a ooh, uh-uh for me. So, <laughs> I am struggling, girl. I love Hydrovisor, actually, because it's also a really good primer. It has SPF. I mean, I, I, I love the whole line. Everything's really great about it. I can reiterate and tell you how wonderful it is. It, it's clearly, it's, it's, it's wonderful, and I love it. Um, one of the best lines that I've, I've used, and I think that everyone should give it a chance to try it. Not everything is for everybody, but I feel like this is definitely a brand that's worthy of you giving it a chance and trying. Uh, one of my favorite products actually is Hydrovisor because of the fact that it has SPF in it. Um, it's just, and it's obviously, it leaves you super glowy, it doesn't leave you ashy. I absolutely love it. And honestly, if I'm not using Hydrovisor, which has SPF in it, everything else that I'm going to do in my routine don't mean anything. It's really not effective because you need SPF. Baby, hello. Black, look, black may not crack, but it do burn, okay? Anyways, back to our discussion. Um, before that though, flash nap, okay? We need to prime these under eyes. Uh, you know, I think that's one of the biggest things that I think we all should take uh, some time to really reflect on is how do we love ourselves in each phase of life that we're in, each phase um, of, of our growth, you know what I mean? Because what I think the weird thing about social media is, is that there's this idea that we get, you know, there's a person who's at, the, at this point of life and then they just immediately jump to the best part of their life. <sighs> Baby, it don't work like that. It never has, okay? You don't get to the best parts of your life without working for it. You have to go through the journey, okay? You don't just get to the destination. You have to work through the journey. And going through the journey, you need to appreciate it. You know what I mean? You need to learn from it. You need to value these lessons. You go through each phase of your, your life with self-love. That's how you, you find peace and clarity. That's how you find the most confidence in yourself. That's how you reach your goals. You know what I mean? Of course, this step is one of my favorite steps of all time. Uh, butter drop lip oil. Okay, you guys can see my skin. It's a little lackluster, if you will. Um, how, how are we going to take care of our face and not our body? I don't understand that. I, I'm really confused on how people are missing that. How are you going to do all this for your face? And then, hello. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. It really doesn't. This is actually a fresh jar. I had went through one already, girl. I'm telling you, it is so good. What I really love about this is it has a beautiful sheen. There's no sparkle to this. This isn't makeup, you know what I mean? This is a luxurious body cream with luxurious oils in it. This is, this has great ingredients like shea butter and mango butter. So you're you're getting this instant glow. You're, you're about to, look, check this out, look. I'm not playing with you guys. Let me get the shoulder because the shoulder is really where things start to, okay? Hello. There's no sparkle to this. It's a beautiful sheen. It looks so natural. The glow from within, it just looks absolutely beautiful. But at the same time, you're doing your skin justice. You are providing your skin with antioxidants. You are conditioning the skin. You are nourishing the skin. You are overall building moisture of your skin. Like overall, your skin is gonna make such a dramatic difference in how it looks just naturally. We're gonna hop into a 
more of a natural beat. If you guys are keeping up with me, um, you guys have probably noticed that my makeup looks have been a little softer, a little bit more on the natural side. I still have quite a bit of steps, baby. I sure do. But they're a little bit on the natural side. Uh, I did a little color correction. That's why I look crazy right now. Uh, Girl, she still struggles. And even with my skincare routine, I just wanna say that skincare is a lifestyle, okay? You don't just do a simple routine for like a month or two and everything's all good. If you have problematic skin, hey baby, it's a lifestyle. You don't have to keep working on it. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eavesdrop. This has been my new favorite from Fenty Beauty, shade 11. Um, you know, I have a question for you guys. When, when did we stop loving ourselves? Like, when did this happen in your guys' life where we start, you know, bad self-talk, when we start judging ourselves for not doing this, that, or the third, we judge ourselves for not having this, that, and the third, we judge ourselves for not looking like this, that, and the third. When did you guys start to experience this, this, this mindset and this type of behavior. For me, I think I have my earliest memory of like looking and judging myself and like feeling some type of way was about like seventh, sixth or seventh grade. I was a baby. And I kind of noticed that certain kids had things that I, I was noticing in my age group and where I was from, boys like this and that and the third, and I wasn't getting the attention that maybe some of the other girls was getting. So it, it then I started thinking, oh, it's because I had acne, so I'm not as good as somebody because I have acne. Or um, for some people, it's their weight. Um, for others, it's what they what they don't have. You know what I mean? Their living situation. What I'm coming to learn is that media we are so easily manipulated, and we are so subjected to like the the thoughts of other people. And I really want to start putting myself first. And that means understanding that my life, what I'm doing and how I feel about myself has no concern and has no value in the eyes and the words of other people. You know what I mean? I cannot allow other people's thoughts and opinions of me and what I should be, what I should have, all these things bother me. Now there's a fine line with that, you know what I mean? When you have a support system, you got people who are looking out for you and you have people who are trying to help you and guide you through life and everything like that, family, friends, all that good stuff. Obviously input is what matters, but I'm talking about just our society, what and our society is surrounded with social media. So what that looks like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and do a little contour. Again, I'm keeping everything a little bit light, but we're still going through our steps per usual. I'm using the shade Mocha Matchstick. I know a long time ago I said that the matchsticks don't work for me, girl. That has changed. I finally figured out how to use it, um, and I I love it. And you guys are gonna see how good it is on me. Anyway, so I think what's important is like understanding when this happened in your life when when did these things happen to you where you started to like treat yourself differently because of certain circumstances or how you looked or everything you know whatever the case may be when did those things start changing how you feel about yourself because when you're a young kid you're not thinking about that stuff you know what i mean you're living your best life you're feeling good you're feeling confident so when did that start changing and why going back to my role with fenty skin and being the ambassador for all things body you guys this has been something that I never really thought I was going to do. And what I mean by that is I never thought I was going to be a person who was going to be such an advocate for body because I don't feel like I look like certain people. How And I felt like, well, I don't have abs. I sure don't have abs. Okay, wait a minute, I sure don't have abs, okay? I don't look like some of these people. Wouldn't you guys want somebody who looks like who, what people want to look like? Why would somebody want to look like me, look at me and be like, ooh, like, you know what I mean? But this is real life, you know what I mean? This is as real and as raw as it gets. And I really respected that. So they allowed me to kind of, kind of, you know, get in my bag and feel like, okay, who cares? This is me, this is me. And like I said earlier, this isn't my favorite me by far, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna love myself through the process. We're like hating ourselves so much and we think that's how we get to our goals. Oh, I hate the way I look so bad that I'm gonna force myself to go to the gym. 
No, that's so unhealthy. Because what happens when you get to your, whole, your goal? Are you genuinely going to be happy or are you just going to look for another goal to reach because you're never going to be happy with yourself? You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not saying be content. I'm not saying accept what you don't want. I'm saying love yourself in the process and know that whatever you want, you can get to that point. It takes work and it takes dedication and it takes self-love. Okay, I'm gonna get into some bright fix. Um, I love that how creamy it is. I love the color correcting in it and I love how hydrating it is. Only thing is you gotta be careful squeezing it out. I've, I've sometimes, I've shot this bad boy out, okay? Way too much. But this is the shade Deep Melon, which is perfect for me to kind of hide these bags okay i'm really into correcting and i love that this does that and it doesn't like get all cakey and build up this is the perfect perfect thing for this and also flash snap underneath this is a perfect combination like i'm talking dynamic duo because flash snap also kind of primes for under eye concealer which is really nice i think it really does help with creasing and longevity of your concealer and you can leave it at this like you can leave it like this but you know i'm a little extra so i'm gonna use the cure okay pro filter concealer in 185 this is lighter than my typical shade but i like to brighten things up a little bit just a little at the end of the day you can stress yourself out and beat yourself down and tear yourself up to get to a goal that you want to reach and you can bust your butt to get to that goal and but when you get to that goal are you truly going to be satisfied are you going to truly have that aha moment are you going to truly look at your journey and say wow this journey was more important than the destination you're going to look back on your journey and you're going to think wow how difficult was it for me to get here how many moments was I crying? How many moments was I tearing myself down? How many moments was I looking at myself and hating myself? You're gonna, that's all you're gonna know. And that's all you're gonna know that, and that you're gonna look back and say, that's what it took for me to get here? Isn't this goal really worth it? You know what I mean? So that's why it's so important that I've come to learn to appreciate yourself and love yourself in every phase you are in. But wait a minute, you guys know how much I love these cream blushes. Wait a minute, um, we're gonna be using Daiquiri Dip. You guys know I'm all for the cream blush, okay? Powders, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my T-zone, under eyes and all that. Basically everywhere I did highlight, I'm gonna set with this and then I'm gonna go over my entire face with 290 Pro Filter Foundation. This is a must have in my routine. I use it every, every time I do my makeup. This is just absolutely wonderful. It just really does set the whole entire face and blurs everything out. Okay, did you see how just a little bit, a couple little hair strokes with the pencil had, you know, just created a completely different brow, I'm telling you. I've been keeping my eyes pretty bare. Um, I can go over it a little bit, what just like what's left on this brush, but I've been keeping it pretty bare um, because again, I'm just feeling this really natural look. I haven't even been wearing lashes, girl. So what I'm about to do right now is go ahead and apply my mascara, full frontal mascara. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera because y'all have to look at me and I'm gonna look real dumb putting this mascara on because I'll be really working it in. You guys know my lashes are straight. I gotta do a lot of work to get these girls to, to pop out, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and we'll come back and we'll continue chatting about what it means to love yourself. Okay, but wait a minute, not my lashes giving length, okay? Hello, full frontal girl. Okay, I'm telling you. Cause y'all know my lashes really don't be trying to do nothing, girl. They be really out here just lazy as hell, I'm just saying. Okay, this look is almost complete, literally. I put a little bit of liner on, but I didn't show y'all cause I mean, look, Miss Riri, I need, I need some lip liners. I'm just saying, uh, but we about to get into Miss Fenty Glow. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm Cream. Okay, uh, this is straight pigment, baby. I love this stuff. It's, it's called Juicy. It's called Plump. Uh, so this look is honestly, this has made my look. You guys have seen it. This has been my vibe. I feel, 
I feel like I've, this is the prettiest I've been feeling lately because it's more natural, it's representing me, it's just a little enhancement, you know what I mean? I'm speaking it into existence for you, let's manifest it. Um, you are gonna start loving yourself in every phase that you're in. Every phase in life that you're in, you're going to have self-love. You're gonna give yourself self-love, hello, okay? You're going to appreciate yourself in every moment that you're in. That doesn't mean that you have to be content. That doesn't mean that you don't want to reach your goals and that you don't want to evolve and change and do things different for yourself. It basically means that you're going to love yourself throughout the whole process. Because back like I said earlier, you do all this self-hate, you tear yourself down, you beat yourself down, you get to, to get to your goals and then you do get to your goals. Let's say you get to your goals, you look back at your journey and all you have to remember for it all, all that work that you did was tear yourself down to get there. Is the goal really worth it? It's all about loving yourself. That's body image. That's accepting your flaws and all. I'm one to speak for it. I'm not the. This is not my favorite me, but I'm gonna love me anyway, because loving me is gonna get me to where I'm going. Loving me and accepting me and and understanding that even though I'm not where I want to be, I love myself to work hard enough to get there. You know what I mean? So I'm speaking that for you. You feel me? Uh, you're going to love yourself in every phase and every moment that you're in. That is so important to me and I hope that's important for you. That could be career, okay? That can be, uh, you know, getting out of relationships that's not good for you, building relationships that are good for you. That can be about body image. Loving yourself through the process is what's going to get you past it. It takes hard work, it takes, it takes dedication, it takes balance, it's called maintaining. But through all of that, you gotta love yourself first. You know what I mean? I'm so happy that I was able to do this video, not only because I'm working with, of course, Fenty Skin, obviously I'm an ambassador for these guys and we love some Fenty all the way around. Um, but a girl talk was definitely needed. Everything that we talked about today in today's video, definitely from the heart, definitely genuine. Um, I was so happy to even have this kind of idea come up because this was definitely needed, especially currently for me. Um, like I said earlier, being able to re represent body with this line and this brand and this culture, I felt was really important and I really wanted to talk about that and share my whole thought process and what it means for me and um how it's it's a really a wonderful opportunity it's a blessing and it's allowed me to even step out of myself step out of my comfort zone and and love myself even more you know what i mean it's a work in progress there's days where it's hard and there's days where it feels easy so i'm really glad that we was able to do this uh, of course check out fancy skin line i you know i'm repping it of course butter drop baby this is an amazing body cream. I absolutely love it. Definitely get a chance to try it. Go into your local Sephora, um, get your hands on it, feel it. If you're able to get a sample, if you're able to, this is so uh, wonderful. Of course, you can order it online from Fenty Skin as well. Um, and of course on Sephora, but this is something that I recommend. Just give it a chance to give it a try. You get a sample. It, it's absolutely wonderful. I love you guys so, so much. Clearly, because when we're having these conversations, I love you guys very, very much. Thank you guys so much for always supporting me, um, especially in this new journey that I'm in. I really, really appreciate it so much. Um, and until next time, I'm gonna see you guys in a vlog or something else, you feel me, okay? Uh, I love you, bye.